So, row number 17. And as I said, in this row we have to open two more uh, border motifs, pinwheel motifs here. One and here one, as we did here with these two. So, chain three, turning chain three, turn the work and work your first shell. Okay, now chain four and into the next shell, the second shell, we will work one complete shell. So, this one, as we work into every row, plus chain two and two more double crochet. Crochets, do you remember? Okay. And now we'll go on with the pinwheel motif, chain uh, four, and work your three chain three spaces into the chain three space, single crochet, chain three, into the next chain three space, single crochet, chain three, into the next chain three space, single crochet, and here we are with the last chain three and the last single crochet. So we have three chain three arches or uh, chain three spaces. Okay, now you just have to repeat all what we did here. So finish the motif, the pinwheel motif with chain four and into the shell stitch work eight. Work another shell stitch. And here in the middle, you know, uh, I said we have three rows with four, chain four. So this is the third, actually. This is the third row. The last row with chain four. The next will be with will be with chain six. Sorry. So chain four and repeat the motif. This one too. Don't forget to uh, make the the place <laughs> the place for another um, pinwheel motif here too. Okay, and finish the row. So we finished the row 17 2 and we have the places here the two places here to open two more um, pinwheel motifs and let's go on with the 18 number 18 row chain 3 turning chain 3 then the shell 1 Two, chain two and again two more double crochets for the first shell then chain four one two three four yeah and here if you remember we have to work a shell into the first chain two space actually the shell that is here then chain three where we will work our three double crochets for the motif the pinwheel motif and into the next chain two space created into the previous row another shell so double cro two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets okay now what we have here we have to chain four and work two chain three arches. Three, four, into the first chain three space. This is the pinwheel motif that we have to finish. Chain three, 
into the next chain 3 space single crochet chain 3 and into the next chain 3 space single crochet now we have two chain 3 arches or spaces chain 4 as we know then oops, the shell 1, 2 and again Okay, and now we have our three rows with uh, chain three, and we have to work the row with chain six. Three, four, five, six, and the, ch the shell, sorry. And the shell here. And I want to show you that into the next row, this is the chain 6, so into the next row we will begin with a pinwheel motif here in the middle too, and we will have 3. Then we'll go on, as you can see, we close, we will close these two, so these two, and we will go on like this with chain 6, chain 4, chain 4, chain 4, so actually there are two patterns I don't know how to say you have to look the mm, to and I imagine the pattern in two steps so the first step you open on the border then into the next step the second step you open these in the middle because now we have one to open but then we'll go on as, as we, we grow as, as the, the shawl grow on, of course we'll have two, three and so on. So I, I'm talking about motive, the pinwheel motifs. Okay, so hope you understand. Of course I cannot go on with all the pattern. So I, I will just show you how to continue on. Mm, and then you have to, so hope it I don't know, my explanation is clear enough for you to figure out the, the rest of the shawl. But it's actually, now as you can see, we just have to repeat the same things. Talking about repeat the same things, here we are. We just have to repeat three, four. Just have to repeat, oops into the chain 3, single crochet, chain 3, then into the chain 3, another single crochet, chain 3, and into the last chain 3, a single crochet, and we have 2 as we have here. Now chain 4, and here into the first chain Two space work a shell one two chain two and another two double crochets then chain three for the uh, three double crochets so to begin the pinwheel actually and into the next chain two space work another shell Hmm. And now chain four and the last shell. And here we are finishing our row number 18. Okay, here we are. So our pattern is growing fast, I think. And it's actually a, a, um, a not very, it's, it's really easy to, to work it, to, to see the, the progress of, um, of the, um, the pattern. So it's not difficult, you just have to pay attention, of course, of your shells and, and the pinwheels. <laughs> that's, well, so, that's all. So to, uh, when to open new pinwheels on the border and just now you know and when to open pinwheel in the middle and now you know it's here when you 
um, complete one row with six chains, three rows with four and another one with six. Now this is the row where we begin a new pinwheel motif in the middle too and now we begin just one but where we are well, you will be <laughs> because I I just here of course you will open more than one in the middle but always two at the borders always two at the borders but more than one in the middle because as the pattern grow up of course that there will be more than one motif in the middle in the core let's say the the core of the of the shawl now row 19 and in this row so you just have to pay attention along uh, the the pattern the shawl the, the yes the shawl when you are here you have to begin another motif pinwheel motif into um, the middle okay so here when you just completed this second chain six here okay as you can see, oops, as you can see here. How can I show you in the middle? So, this is the first one, two, three, with four, chain four, and here. Hmm? Now, Let's go on with the row number 19 with a chain 3, turn your work and work your first shell, one, two double crochets, chain 2 and two more double crochets, then chain 4, 4 and the next shell work another shell two double crochets chain two two double crochets for the next shell okay and now here we will begin our um, pinwheel so chain two and into the chain three space work three double crochets for the first row of the pinwheel motif then chain two again and work your shell into the next shell one and two okay now here we have to work our last chain 3 space chain 3 arch so chain 4 again and into the first chain 3 work a single crochet and chain 3 and into the next chain 3 work a single crochet hmm? for the pinwheel now chain 4 and into the shell work a shell chain two and two more double crochet to complete your shell now here we have the chain six and we will work like this chain two then three double crochets for the pinwheel in the middle and again chain two and the shell okay so we begin here our pinwheel motif into the middle ok 
okay here we have because in the middle we don't make these two rows we just begin with the 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 motif the pinwheel motif just begin with the three double crochets okay so we are here and we have three double crochets here three double crochets here and we will put three double crochets here so we'll have three pinwheel actually to complete Okay, then chain four and into the chain three space, single crochet, then chain three and single crochet into the chain, uh, chain three space, then chain four again and here into the shell, work a shell. chain two and two more double crochet to complete the shell and now the pinwheel motif the last one of the row so chain two then into the chain three space work your three double crochets Oops. chain two and the shell one and two okay then chain four and the last shell and this is our row number 19 finished okay So, this will be the row number 20. Of course, I think, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yes, 20. So, 4 the row number 20 we have three pinwheel stitch motifs open and two closed so here we will work a chain no here we will work a single crochet chains um, a chain five single crochet chain five and here and here we will work the pinwheel motif. So, chain three, turn. Work your first shell, chain two and two more double crochet to complete your shell, first shell. Then a chain of four and the second shell chain two and another two double crochets and we have these two shells worked now here is all that we did here and here so chain two and two double crochets into the chain two space and three double crochet one double crochet in each of our three double crochets that we have here and two more double crochet in our chain two space don't forget to chain two to finish then the shell so, work your shell, chain 
then here as I said chain 5 single crochet into the chain 3 space and chain 5 again so 3 4 5 single crochet into our chain 3 arch here and 3 4 5 chain 5 again then go on repeating all that we did here so you just have to repeat now so I completed my row 20 with all three motifs here and my second motif here that I have to close and now into my row number 21 here in these two I will put a chain 6 as I did here then chain 4, chain 4, chain 4 and then we will open uh, motifs again but first we will open motifs here so we always open two motifs on the border and then in the middle so don't forget this that we only always open on the border first and then in the middle now for this row just chain three turn your work and work your first shell then chain four and work your next shell now we are here at the at the first um, pinwheel motif so chain two we always chain two uh, at the beginning and at the end of the row of the pinwheel motif the row with the double crochets and we always chain four on the rows with chain three spaces okay now chain two and work two double crochets into the chain two space then seven double crochets one into each of our seven double crochets of the previous row this is the last one and two more double crochets into the chain two space and this is the last row of the double crochets of our pinwheel here chain two don't forget to chain two then the shell work the shell two double crochets chain two two more double crochets Here we have to chain six now. So chain six, three, four, five, six. Then we will make the next shell. So two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets to complete your shell. Okay, now we have another pinwheel motif here to work so chain two work two double crochets into the chain two space then oops then work one double crochet into each of our seven double crochets of the previous row Okay, here we are. And two more double crochets into the chain two space. Then chain two. 
to finish the pinwheel row. And here we have our shell. Then work your shell. So actually you can see it's really easy. You just have to go on and work what the the pattern cast quest. So it's ask for. It's it's actually now it's the pattern that, that ask for all that you have to work. Now chain six, three, four, five, six here, and another shell. Is this row with chain six and so on? Now chain two. We are at the last pinwheel motif to work. So chain two, work two double crochets, one and two, and work one double crochet into each of your seven double crochets your previous row this is my last one now into the chain two space two more double crochets and of course the chain two oops and our shells with a chain 4 in between them this is my first shell chain 2 and 2 more double crochets to complete it then chain 4 and again our last shell Okay, now, as you can see, from now on, we just repeat the pattern and mm, it's growing up, actually. Okay, so uh, don't forget to open motifs here on the border, the, the right side, left side of the shawl, first, and then these in the middle so here we will open two more after two more here and here we'll have always two more to add but here we'll have on the border left side right uh, side of the borders we'll have only two but first you open these two and then this in the, um, the middle, in the core, let's say, of the, the shawl. Okay, when you want to finish, so you are, I don't know, the length that you want to do, as you can, uh, as you see, um, have seen uh, into the intro of the tutorial, mine is uh, large enough. So, I have here 13 motifs and this will be the um, row where you will have to finish so this can you see it is this the row hmm? with the chain six here okay and here I have 13 motifs opens open so after you completed your double crochet part of the motif and the chain six here. And I just put a row of chain one uh, of single crochet, chain one, pico, chain one, single crochet and so on. Okay, all over my last row 
so that's it I think it's all clear it's not difficult as you can see it's not difficult the pattern is just you um, have to be um, I don't to pay attention and not to um, lose I don't know stitches or chains so hope that is all clear and you'll make beautiful shawls with this pattern so continue on and don't forget that we have to open first on the borders and then in the middle so here we we have to open next but first here and it will be actually after two more rows because we have now we have the row with our first chain three spaces so with five chain three spaces then we'll have the row with our I am talking about the the motif the the pinwheel motif that we have three here and the next row will be the one with four and into the next that will be the row the row with three you'll have to open these two okay and then you'll go on and you'll repeat the pattern okay hope it's all clear see you at the next tutorial.